All right, everyone. Today we'll be building a locomotive. Today, it is a cross between a Dash Nine and a EMD Dash Two. First up, we'll want to build the track. So start off with your anvil and a dark oak slab or whichever slabs you'd like to build place them down and just continue all the way down the line next what you want to do is build the wheels place it down here two and then you want to add the other frame right here them together and then leave about two spaces and then plop the fuel tank in and you want to do eight Alright, next you want to build your next set of wheels and you just leave one space. And add your frame again. support all right now when you have that done you'll want to add whichever color you want like I'm choosing orange today you can choose whichever you'd like so we'll use the redstone slab and then start placing and you want to place it all the way down to the end and you want to go up by four
Next what you want to do is fill it in. All right. After you have built the base, you'll want to extend outwards by one. So right at this uh, wheel frame. Just extend outwards and do the same for the other side. And you want to keep adding one more all the way down the row until you reach about right here. You want to stop here. Right there. And do the same for the other side. And then you'll want to fill it in all the way to the other side. And this is your main locomotive cab that you'll be working with. And down over here, you want to count four space, place it there. You add one more. You have one right here that you place. Next what you want to do is grab a smooth red sandstone and then you build up one, two, three, four. You want to build up four. And just go all the way down the row. Alright, once you have built the back end, we'll be building the cab. Just fill this in. And then you want to build one height. Up to three, two, three. Add the windows, it would be a black stain, you can use whichever color you'd like. And do the same for the other side. Next you want to build, extend outwards. Then add the windows. Then you want to add the uh, roof.
And you'll want to add the horns. Add some orange carpeting. For this section you'll need to add a string in order to be able to place a carpet. And then you can choose the type of door you'd like. and you have the frame of the locomotive cap next you want to build the roof you want to add stairs first and then fill it in And it looks something similar to this so far. Alright, we'll now be working on the front of the cab. So we'll want to go in that one. By five. And then down by three. Then you only want to go down by one. Down by three. Next you want to add the stairs across the row and the slab down below. Once you have that done you want to place a piston right in the middle. Then you want to build in your front part over here.
All right, we'll now add the decoration to the back end now. Hit your magma block. Yeah, let's just get about three. And fill it in. Do the same for the other side. And we can also fill in this part. And then add the fans on top. Next we are going to add the fences. And you'll want to do this for the other side as well. Alright, when you build the fence you can leave it like this or go straight all the way. Either way it doesn't matter. It's up to your preference. As for the end part, we'll be needing two blocks. Build the two and go across.
half slabs down below. Then you can add the piston for the couplers. And finally we'll add the fence. Alright, after you have the end section done, we'll go back into the cab of the locomotive and add a floor. Close this up. And then add some controls right here. We'll also add a chair for the engineer to sit in. some particle effects and a switch the lights restroom and the cab is finished if you have any other questions feel free to post it down below in the comment section and if you want me to build something else I'll uh, build it for you and show you how to build it. Thank you and have a great day.